Grand Prairie Street crews are fighting the superstorm of 2011 with an all-out blitz. All of the city's seven Sandy trucks are working almost non-stop to make roadways passable after a combination of ice, snow, and below freezing temperatures. And uh, we've been working on 12-hour uh, shifts since then and probably will carry it through Saturday. The, uh, the event itself is uh, really not much more than what we've had before. What's uh, a little different with this one is it's lasted longer by having the freezing weathers stay with us. Had, had, normally it'll come in you know, a day and a half it's gone, but uh, here we are now in a couple of days into it. So that's, that's what's different about this one. And your approach is to do, do the same streets, hills, how does that work? Yes, our first priority is always, when, you first, when the storm first moves in, your first priority is always the bridges and because uh, those are the first ones that were usually freeze then we start doing the hills the sharp turns uh, this time because it's kind of hung around a little bit and refroze you know refrozen every night we've had to hit uh, a little more you know, you know trouble spots like intersection people trying to stop at the red lights and things like that and the entertainment district is getting a little extra attention on thursday the verizon theater is hosting a super bowl concert and across the road Lone Star Park is being used as the site for volunteers to pick up credentials and hop a shuttle bus. And so we're just trying to help our uh, honored guests that are coming to Grand Prairie to have a safe, safe route in and a safe route out. Despite that effort, drivers still need to be careful until warmer weather melts all the icy spots. Meantime, city offices are back to normal hours and garbage collection resumes on Friday. Most city facilities are open, but you should call to make sure. You can also get up-to-the-minute information by going to the city's website at gptx.org or by calling 972-237-8000.